Hey guys, time for another update. Today I will be installing some new aluminum bead locks, 2.2 bead locks for my Wraith. I'm thinking about switching to a, or actually creating kind of a theme. I've done, made up a new driver, put some clothes on them so the wrestler's muscles not all exposed, a little bit more muted down. And since the bead locks I got are green with red, I'm going with the green red thing. My brand new set of hot bodies. I've actually never run these before. So I'm gonna be taking these off off of these other bead locks. And I'm gonna clean up the tires because the tires have, still have the residue from the mold release. So they're actually not gonna be as sticky as they can be. I'm gonna get these bead locks removed and So now I'm gonna be cleaning it. I'm just gonna use regular dishwashing detergent for for this. And I just want to get the mold release off. So I'm gonna, it's better to use warm, warm soap. So now I'm just gonna towel dry it. Really, the outside I'm not too concerned about since that outside can air dry, but it's mainly the inside. So I don't want to get mold when I get those wheel sealed up so turn the tire inside out and then just try these right now I can already feel the stickiness on the outside treads of these tires already making a difference so, there you go so, dry enough. Alright, I'll do that for all four tires and get my wheels ready. So for these <clears throat> white dot rovers, these are the soft rock crawler ones. These are the hot bodies. Model number 6772. Uh, hot bodies rover. So these are the soft ones. There's packaging and here's the wheels that I got. Integy green aluminum 2.2 bead lock. So I'm gonna squish my foam inside the tire. Okay, and then you, you wanna do this, kind of rotate the tire as you're pressing the foam in, that way it's evenly spaced in there and you don't have any lumps. There we go. So, going all the way around. Yeah, these tires are way stickier now. I like it. So now I'm going to mount this, which is going to be on the inner part of the wheel. So for thread lock, you don't need to go crazy. Supposedly the best thing to do is get your screw and just have a dab drop on your, on like a little plastic bag and then dip your screw into it.